And the point is that, th so this is <coughs> order eta to the first power term only, right? So you get eta cube and blah, da, 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 da. And so then the question is puzzling, right? I'm sorry, the, the situation is puzzling because by doing Taylor series <coughs> in eta, you've actually made the entire imaginary part of the uh, self-energy to be proportional to eta. And then, uh, you know, you might worry that this is, you've just thrown baby out with the bathwater, right? There's no way to have a finite lifetime of the weak disorder kind when you let eta go to infinity. And of course, the uh, magic solution is, or, you know, the, the, the resolution of this, I shouldn't say magic, there's no magic science, um, is that this is, a, this is not allowed in the sense that the coefficient of this diverges, okay? So there's sum over paths, and by sum over paths, okay, this is easy to define. <clears throat> okay, so there you, you know, the idea is that we draw some paths. Now, the, because this is squared, I've basically taken all the closed paths and I just disconnected them, okay? And then the idea is that now I can talk about paths that leave, you know, these paths that, you know, so these are, this is, you know, A squared, right? And these individual paths correspond to, let's see if I can feel it. So these individual paths is summed over paths leaving and never coming back, leaving M and never coming back, and not coming back. Okay. All right, now, so there's an integral now to do, and uh, oh my god, this is really spotty. Right softer. Okay, so now there's an integral to do, and the integral is to take one of these paths, it's got n segments, so this is an important, so it's n, so this is origin, let me call it origin. This is n steps. And what we want to know, so ultimately, we are interested in summing over paths of different n, but let's compute the probability distribution of just one path. So, So I'm going to write some integrals and write answers. Um, maybe if there's interest, I'll give you a bit of a math tomorrow. Okay. So how do you ever evaluate such integrals? So products of things are best dealt with by going to logarithmic variables because products become sums. So first of all, sort of P of A and minus A is the same, so we can trade it for P of absolute value. Okay. Um, then, so a few steps, E minus lambda. I'll define small v as 2t over disorder. And finally, the probability distribution massage thusly is looking slightly more manageable, this to me. So these integrals are now 0 to infinity, nicely 
So there's now, because of this exponential substitution, we get um, sum of lambda, and the delta function is now on vn e to the sum of lambda, <coughs> which we'll call, of course, capital lambda. Sorry, I'll take five more minutes to play around with this stuff. So the delta function you can massage out to. It's all doable. You can talk about it. Tomorrow, um, there's interest. So the probability distribution for, for just one path is an interesting function. Um, because it has fat tails. So fat tails is something that nowadays is uh, not foreign, but I don't know in 1958 how, how uh, um, you know, whether have, computing something that has fat tails, whether that got people excited or not. So you can see that A has, um, at large A, it actually has logarithmic behavior, and so it actually doesn't really decay nicely. It has 1 over A squared, but it also has these logarithms that, um, you know, 1 over A squared is also Lorentzian tail. So, so why, why, is it, why, why have fat tails a problem? So this has fat tails. P has fat tails. Fat tails. You know, the uh, you know, moments blow up, you know, and it's up there. Why, why is that important? The reason this is important is right. So first of all, think about what's being computed here. This is some kind of a high order perturbation theory process. So um, you can imagine that Getting a fat tail in the, in the uh, amplitude of this path means that someplace you might have hit on a few resonances, and there's, you know, um, the particles may um, somehow, the, the, your probability for going far away is actually amplified compared to what you might have expected. Um, so ultimately, we're interested in computing, you know, this I path as I wrote it earlier, someplace. Yeah. No. I path is the sum of all, all these paths. But there are lots of these paths. Right? Um, in fact, number of paths is some coefficient is exponential in the, in their length. So k is uh, 4.5 on in 3D on a cubic lattice. So <clears throat> you might think naively that when you're adding over, and all these paths are slightly different, of course. Right? You might think coming from central limit theorem is that you know when you have so many paths that you're adding up, somehow their distribution will enable, you know, will converge to central limit. Uh, uh, will we'll converge uh, according to central limiting behavior, but having these fat tails precludes that. So we actually have to compute uh, the sum in one, again, unusual aspect of this calculation is that when you have a distribution with fat tails, one accurate estimate for the probability, so probability of sum of all these paths is approximately equal to probability of the A maximum. Right, so the idea is that you, um, right, so, so because you're, oh, I broke something. No, that's a magnetized ball. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, right, so the idea is that you think of one, two, Three plus dot 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 a n, and they're all right. If if the probability distribution of the sum of these things, if one if you have a fat tail, that means that you're very likely to get just a huge contribution to this thing. So so max 
of A, and therefore probability distribution of this object may be approximated as a probability distribution of just a maximum. Okay. Again, the, the, there are criteria in probability theory for when this approximation is good and what the corrections are. I'm not going to say anything about that. My assumption is that these tails are fat enough that this is a, a good approximation. I actually haven't, I haven't um, researched what the precise criterion, what it looks like. But now the probability of, of a maximum, and I realize I'm one minute over, let me just, this is a nice little stopping point. So the probability of a maximum is a probability that you don't get a large value. So if you now take this probability that we computed, and you have a certain A max. Now, there is N of things that I, uh, that I need to compute. So you basically want the probability of not getting that value n minus 1 time. There's n full combinatorics. And then there's the probability n, uh, of a max. OK? Now, the probability of getting a less than that, basically not getting maximum value, is actually 1 minus integral P D A prime from A max to infinity. Does that say D minus one or N minus one? Where, uh, N. That one, right? Yeah, no, that was a that was a goof. Right. N P N A max. P N A man. Almost. Um okay. Oh, right, sorry. And this is, of course, um, d by dA of an exponential n infinity, oh, no, wrong infinity, a max, well, a, right, infinity, p n a prime dA prime. Okay. Actually, this is, a, this is exact. <laughs> this is the approximation. Uh, no, this is, all, this is the approximation, sorry. OK, so the task of computing the probability distribution of, um, whatchamacallit, where is it? Um, I think things got moved over, has been reduced to computing probability distribution of a single path of length n, which I gave you the final answer to, but it's actually pretty close to, uh, there's two more lines missing. But then one needs to integrate, integrate that uh, and multiply it by you know, this object. Again, it's, it's some geometric sort of a thing. Right? And the question is, does this thing you know, does this thing converge or diverge? If it blows up, <coughs> right, so let me just uh, bring it back to the why we're interested in this. Where did I leave? Yeah, right, sorry, I covered it up. Right, the point is that if you believe in localization, then you will never get an imaginary part in C because Ada will just turn it off. And so if this diverges at some point, you know, then you cannot play that game. So that what we're looking for to compute the probability distribution and see how it diverges as we go to large order and perturbation. You know, I'll finish this up tomorrow. Okay?